Hey guys, what's up? How's everybody doing on this fine Saturday morning? Um, slash Friday evening, depending on if you went to bed yet. Um, I actually call it Friday evening, even though it's after midnight. But, you know, some like I said, some of you might call it Saturday morning. That's fine. Um... On those lots that I got yesterday, um, I did contact him in the morning time, and I haven't heard back from him yet, but uh, every time I've communicated with him in the past, um, he's gotten back to me within a day or two, so I'm not worried yet. I would almost guarantee that he will, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um... Today was an okay day, you know, had my friend come over, um, we got some Nemo's, which actually Nemo's is a, a sub place, unlike any other, It's they're really good. They put their own little um, sauce on there, and it's, uh, it's like Italian, but it's not, it doesn't quite taste like Italian, but it's really good, so... Everything's fresh, the ingredients, the bread, so, and I got me a steak and egg sub. My dad got a uh, corned beef and cabbage sub, and uh, my friend got a turkey sub, turkey and cheese. Um, she also got an ice cream, but I didn't get any ice cream. Neither did my dad. Um, but, uh, yeah, we just... Hung out and watched some TV, some movies. Um, so, yeah, just a relaxing day at home for the most part. All right, well, today I'm going to show you my 1979 tops. Um, I do have a little bit more of these than I do 1980s. Well, actually, I have more of 1980 tops, but they're in two containers, and I don't know where they're at, like I said before. But these are the only... 89 to, or 79 tops that I have except for I have the the vintage stars in another book um, first one is the stolen base leaders Ron LaFleur and Omar Marino uh, Ron LaFleur was a Detroit Tiger at one time and he was a Chicago White Sox he led the league with 68 and then Marino led with 71 for the National League so and then here's the earned run average leaders. Ron Guidry, who is a pretty good pitcher, and Craig Swan. I do remember him, but I do remember the name. Let's see, look at the you look at the National League. Seaver, Carlton, Vita Blue, Gaylord Perry. Um, those other guys are, you know, solid pitchers but not household names. Um, and then you got Fergie Jenkins, Eckersley, uh, Palmer. Gidry is kind of a household name. Pretty, 174 ERA, that's pretty good. Mark Hill, can't say I know him. Larry Gura, I think he was a, uh, I'm wanting to say he was a, a coach or a manager, but not positive. Another Larry Gura. Jamie Quirk. I remember him for the Royals. A couple other teams. Kurt Bavacqua. I heard the name, don't really know much about him. Looks like, uh, man, he didn't look like his hitting was very good, except for that year he hit 333. In limited, in limited time, though, I will say. Uh, Bob Randall. Do not, do, do not know him at all. Mark Belanger, I do know him. Man, it looks like he's had spent a lot of time on the Orioles. 
not doesn't look like very good. Not many home runs. Not his average wasn't too good, but must have been there for his fielding. He's a shortstop, so I'm so probably was. Here is the 1979 Tigers checklist. Lee Moss. I, I that was before my time. I don't know who Lee Moss is. The only one I remember. The, the latest, the earliest one I remember is Sparky in the early 80s. I don't remember before that. Um, and then you got Fidrich, uh, Lafleur, Jack Morris, Parrish, uh, Trammell, Whitaker. So pretty much all the players from the uh, the the 84 world championship team, all the key players, except for Gibson. Gibson wasn't in the majors yet. Then we got Necro, Phil Necro's brother, Joe. And as you can see, he was a tiger at one time. Another Phil Necro. If you want one of these hats, it's yours. Cause I got two. Warren Cromarty. Another Warren Cromarty. Greg Minton. I know him too. I did I know Warren Cromarty. Here's Gary Matthews. He's a pretty good player, pretty good outfielder. Rodney Scott. I uh, can't say I know him very well. Jim Todd. Johnny Oates. I want to say he was a coach or a manager. Um, I can't remember which. I want to say for the Orioles, but not sure. Sorry about that, guys. I had to sneeze real quick, and it was pretty loud. But, yeah, I think he was on the Orioles for a coach. Our manager. I don't remember if he, which one though. Ted Martinez could be wrong. Don't know him. I do know this guy, Alan Bannister. Do you remember him? This next player you might know from his days as a Giant or Pittsburgh Pirate, Rick Roden. Dave Hamilton, do not know who he is. Larry Heisel. Most of these are in pretty good shape. I don't remember where I got these from. Um, I think there was some packs at a flea market, and they were in um, like 50-cent packs, and they had a lot of the late 70s and early 80s cards in there, so I got them. There's a few decent players in there. Paul Splitor. You do remember him. Daryl Chaney. Nope. Does not ring a bell. Bob Ap Apodaca. No clue on that guy. Here is a Ron Guidry record breaker. Most strikeouts at left hander in a nine inning game. Let's see how many he has. Eighteen. Not bad. Um this next one is an all star, Larry Boa, shortstop for the Phillies. I know him. I think he's a manager too. I like this guy when he pitched, Denny Martinez. Remember him from the 90s and late 80s. Here he is again. Dennis Leonard. I do remember him. 
This guy, I have no clue. Vic Davilio. Davilio. Wow. He was already 42 right there, 1936. And he wasn't that good. He must have been good defensively. Jim Doyer. I know him. Daryl Jackson. Not to be confused with Mike, Tito, Janet, LaToya. Um, I know I'm forgetting one, but can't think of it right now. Here's the guy that's named, that Tommy John surgery is named after. Tommy John. And as you can see in 1985, that's when he had that surgery. Tommy John surgery. Pretty good pitcher, actually. He's a pretty good pitcher before, but he's also a pretty good pitcher after. I mean, he really doesn't, didn't pitch no different. He did, was, didn't have a lot of strikeouts before. Didn't have a lot of strikeouts after. Pretty low ERA for the most part. I mean, 2.99 ERA, that's not bad at all. <clears throat> Mario Guerrero. Nope. Do not know who he is. Jim Willoughby. No clue. Uh, Butch Hobson, I think he's a was a manager, I believe. Jerry Terrell. I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of the managers were former catchers. A lot of them. Another Jerry Terrell. Do not know him at all. Willie Norwood. Jerry Grote. I don't know if that's part of the card or... He just had like a mark on his face. I don't know, a scar or something. Andres Mora. Do not know another one. Three of them. Rich Gale. Do remember him a little bit. Here is the Braves team card with Bobby Cox as a manager. Yes, he was the manager for the Braves way back then. <clears throat> Let's see who was on the team. Uh, Hank Aaron was gone at that time by then. So Bob Horner, Phil Necro, Dale Murphy, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I know Jeff Burroughs was really good for a while, but it looks like about it. William Mon Montanez. Milt May. I vaguely remember him. Pedro Bourbon. I know that name. Looks like he was pretty good for the Reds. For the most part, up until, well, I mean, for like three, four years in a row, he was pretty good there. Mickey Mailer. Love this guy. He was like a fan favorite. We traded Ron LaFleur for him. Ron the floor went to the White Sox and he came to the Tigers. He was a fan, like I said, he's a fan favorite. Chet Lemon. Cool, cool guy. This guy was pretty decent too, Chris Chambliss. He's pretty good for the Yankees and the Braves. Looks like he was on the Indians for a little bit. He's pretty good. Dave Roberts. I've heard the name. Don't really remember seeing him play. Ed Glynn. Don't that name doesn't ring a bell at all. I said before my time. Didn't look like he pitched much anyway. 
Doug Ryu. No clue on Doug Ryu. Here's the Giants team card. Joe Altobelli. Now Mays was off there, but McCovey was still on there. And I think, uh, I don't know, Bill Madlock, he's pretty good. Larry Herndon, former Tiger. Daryl Evans, former Tiger. Jack Clark was pretty good. Vita Blue was good. Uh, there's some other decent players there, but that's it for the most part. Dave Skaggs. I don't think he's related to Tyler, but he could be. I don't know. Another one. Third one. This guy was a good ball player. Dave Kingman. Good home run hitter. Jeff Holly. No clue. Lance Rotsman. Rot Rotson. No clue. Here you go. Hats an Astros team card in front of the Astrodome there. Bill Verdon. Let's see who your Astros had. Jesus Alou, Joaquin Andujar, Dave Bergman, Floyd Bannister, Enos Cabell, Cesar Cedeno, Jose Cruz, Tom Dixon, Ken Forsh, Julio Gonzalez, Wilbur Howard, Art Howe, Raphael Landstroy, Joe Necro, Terry Full. Yeah, you guys see. So, there you go. Jerry Martin. Do not know who he is. Uh, Tommy Boggs. I can't remember if he's related to uh, Wade Boggs or not. Dan Ford, Gary Thomason, no clue on either one of those guys, Scott McGregor, he's pretty good, I think he won the Cy Young the one year, if I recall, like in 1980 maybe, Yvonne DeJesus, Willie Wilson, good player for the Royals. Ken Griffey Jr.'s dad, Ken Griffey Sr. Miscut, but still. Corners are pretty sharp. Doug DeCinzas. DeCinzas. can never pronounce his name right, but I remember him. Rupert Jones, yeah, I remember him. Hector Cruz, no. Don't remember him at all. Horace Speed, this one's got some creases in it, not so good a shape. And I don't know him anyway. Don't know who he is. Rusty Staub. Do remember him. A lot of people used to talk about him. He's pretty good. Decent. Another one. Lee Lacey. I remember him being with the Orioles and the Pirates. Steve Henderson, if you guys remember. Um, oh no, that's Dave Henderson. Never mind. I was thinking of Dave Henderson that was on the, the A's with Ricky. Jerry Morales. Craig Nettles. Good, pretty good player. Like I said uh, the other day. Another Craig Nettles. Jim Barr. No relation to Roseanne. At least I don't think so. Steve Comer, Jim 
Joe Nolan. Reggie Smith. Tom Paquette. Another one. Checklist. No, the front's not marked on. The back's not marked on. Oh, that's odd. Ricky Waits. Heard of him. Bob Baylor. Not so much. Barry Bonnell. Bonnell. Terry Humphrey. No. Freddie Patek. Laren Legrow. Legro. That one's got a chunk tore out of it right there. But I keep them. Wayne Gross. I keep the vintage stuff no matter what the condition. Fernando Gonzalez. Nope, couldn't tell you. Tom Verts, Verser, Verser, I don't know, something like that. Mike Lum, I remember him a little bit. Greg Pryor, remember him a little bit. Another one, another one. Oh, hats, turn your head. Dusty Baker. Dusty Baker was a, actually a pretty decent player, actually. Roy Thomas. Roy Thomas. Ken. Jerry Turner. I know this guy, Rico Cart. Carte, 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 I think. That's how you say it. He's a pretty decent player, too. 303 lifetime average at that time. Not bad. Nino Espinosa. Nope. Rich Hebner. I believe he was a, a, a umpire, wasn't he? Rich Hebner. I don't know if that's the same Rich Hebner, but... I remember there are Rich Hebner as, a, as an umpire. Daryl Porter, rest in peace. If you don't know what happened to him, then uh, look it up. I'm not going to tell you. Cladell Washington. Well, this next one's pretty good. I don't wonder why it's even in there. I probably should have taken it out. Louis Tiant. He was a really good pitcher. Mark Parrott. Love those shades, buddy. Daryl Knowles. Bob Horner. Pretty decent uh, power hitter. Looks like this is his rookie card. I don't think it's worth anything, but still cool. This is a cool card. George Foster. He hit uh, 52 home runs in 77, and then 40 the next year, so pretty good. Rick Monday. Not familiar with him, but I know the name. Looked like he was pretty good, too. He's all right. Hit a decent amount of homers for a couple years there. Jim Norris. No clue. Bert Campanaris, yep, I know him. Pretty good defensive guy, pretty sure. Dave Collins, he was on the Tigers at one time. Way later, though, I think in the late 80s. 
maybe early 90s even. Bob Lacey. No clue. Manny Trio, I remember him. Taylor Duncan, no clue, no clue at all. Doug Bird, Joe Ferguson, nope, neither one of those two. Dan Meyer, almost done guys. Mickey Stanley. Um, I believe he was on the 68 Tigers when they won their championship. Oh, yep. There you go, Mickey Stanley. 68. Some Orioles prospects. Mark Corey, John Flynn, Sammy Stewart. Royals prospects, Randy Bass, Jim Gaudette, Randy Gilberry. Yankee prospects, Brian Doyle, Mike Heath, Dave Razich. Mike Heath was a decent catcher for us in the late 80s. Here are the Astros. This, I got this in a lot. Bruce Bochy. Of course, was a manager, not for the Astros, though. Mike Fishland, Don Pisker. Guy looks old. Oh, 53, eh, 26. Looks like he's got white hair. And he's old. Looks kind of like Buddy Bell or something. Juan Berenguer, Dwight Bernard, and Dan Norman for the Mets prospects. Juan Berenguer was on the Tigers, too. At one time, again in the in the late '80s. All right, guys. Um, hope you like to look at the my 1979s. Um, like I said, none of my star, stars are in there. Um, those are in a different box. You've seen those before. Uh, I've added a few since the last time you've seen them. Um, but yeah, you, at, when I'm done with these, we, I could show those at a later time. Um, you guys have a good weekend. Everybody, be safe out there. Have fun, enjoy the weather, um, go to the beach, go traveling, do something, have some fun. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Like I said, love all you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.